What is up guys, welcome back to The Rev Report. Today, we'll be looking at this 2004 BMW 318i E46 um, sedan. We'll be looking at mainly its driving dynamics, um, as it's just a good example of why old cars are gold. Stay tuned. <laughs> Then going along to the driving, right? You've got this very, very, very analog driving style. The steering feels super heavy compared to what I'm used to with the M2. All the windows, all the, sorry, the doors lock once you move off. The mirrors are this nice small size that old cars usually get there weren't any of the oversized mirrors that you got even on a new 2 series nowadays if you've taken care of it it drives really well as well this one drives pretty good for its age and you know the reliability that this might have reliability issues so this is the 2004 e46 3 series sedan 318i so the 318i from 2003 it comes in the n42 bmw engine four cylinder two liter naturally aspirated it comes with a five speed gm gearbox in the 318i the more powerful versions did come with either a zf or a gm five speed so it did get quite confusing during those during that era of bmw and this one is pretty base it doesn't have the m-sport package and it doesn't have the Harman Kardon or so the m-sport usually has, has a thicker rimmed steering wheel this one's pretty thin but just the feeling of the steering you can feel everything on the road it doesn't have any electronic electronic assistance at all you can feel everything it's such a joy like you you have so much control when driving these old cars especially old BMWs like no wonder why everyone loved driving them And it's got it's got really good AC as well granted this will cost more to run than an old Toyota Corolla but for what you get you know it's definitely well worth it as a car enthusiast it certainly certainly beats the enjoyment from driving a brand new M car as well I have to say it's You've got so much feel like I I personally prefer a car that you can feel the roads more than a car that overly assists with its electronic shenanigans and as you also may have noticed I didn't have to press any buttons before taking off all I had to do was put it into gear and to disengage the parking brake I didn't have to press you know the start stop button I didn't have to press a button to change the drive modes there there are no drive modes in this car so everything is really simple you do have the option to put it in to sport mode for the gearbox and the manual to manual mode and yeah that's pretty much it obviously we've got rear wheel drive it doesn't have that much power it's at 105 kilowatts and 200 newton meters although it does have the issue the n42 bmw does have the timing chain timing chain failures and also a few oil leaks like the typical oil filter housing and other gaskets around the engine but if you've taken care of it it shouldn't be a big deal you've also got 500 more than 500 kilometers in a tank in a full tank which is just fantastic like you wouldn't expect it from such an old car but here we are When you're driving on the road you feel so solid even after those years nothing feels like it's out of place or it just feels like it's like molded together with two different e46s everything just feels solid and and just stabilized together in harmony after 20 years of service and mind you this has 200 almost 243,000 kilometers so imagine one that's been even better taken care of, even 
in a better condition than this. This would be even more phenom phenomenal. But I can't get over the fact how well this drives. Well, as they say, you have to do less. Less is more, looks like, in cars. I have to say, after driving this and the Z4 that I reviewed early on the year, it does have, they do have these old BMWs, they've got this really signature driving dynamic in them. Like just older cars, each one has its own character. Mercedes, the C55, had its more slopey, soft uh, driving dynamic, more luxurious and comfortable. Whereas the BMWs, they had a more <clears throat> direct steering approach and like engaging feeling to drive. Whereas nowadays, each car has its sport mode, each car has its comfort mode. It doesn't have, um... Oh, here we go. Bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> they did not go. Another thing you do get in these old cars is plenty of glass, so you don't have as many blind spots. And those pillars around you, the A, B and C pillars, they don't have a thick, they don't have thick pillars like new cars. They're very much thinner and so it just makes you more like, it just makes you more in control of what you're driving. And with old cars you do have no assistance with blind spot monitoring, collision warning, it's all on you, just to let you know, in case you don't remember. So it's got a lot of manual labour to it, isn't it? Let me tell you, in reality, driving is all on the driver, it's not on the car. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll hope to catch you all in the next video. Cheers!